<laughs> Tom Fuller, yeah. Now I'm just here to get my flags on. Are they ready? Uh, they're not quite ready yet, so you just gotta have a look around and I'll let you know. Okay, appreciate it. Thomas, can you write down some on your sister's baby? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. I guess you're a real Uncle Tom now. Our Christmas in July sale is going so great, and we still have so much on sale. So come on and stop by, and we'll have you here along with every other Tom, Dick, and Harry. And you guys just chill out, check out the store, let us know if we can help you, and just let us know. And done. Larry and Stephanie, those downing Thomases, they didn't bring us to it. Are, are you being a peeping Tom? Oh, 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 a peeping Tom. Society, how they just bias against Thomas. Oh! Welcome back to this week's bestsellers list. And I'd like to thank Miss Jamie King. Well, we're here tonight, Jamie King. For you older folks out there, don't you think of the 90s? sitcom Jamie Foxx show where Jamie Foxx started as Jamie King in the King's Tower well when I talked to her about it she said yes her name did get made fun of as she was coming up so that lets you know how important the name is and with the name Thomas oh, trust me this list is very important to me this is my top 10 names that you should not name a baby some of these names would be notorious names that are infamous that you don't want your child to grow up with that stigma the other names are pressure that the child might not be able to live up to so, let's jump into my top 10 names that don't name your baby. Giselle. Coming in at number 10 this week is Rosemary. Now, it's a pretty name, and it's a, it's a soft name, and there's some women I know named Rosemary, especially in the Millington community from Millington Central High School to the Industrial Development Board. Sweet women, great name. But, there was a movie that came out that took this name, and she had a baby, and it was the infamous baby. So you don't want people thinking that your child, is, if she's named Rosemary, is going to have the demon child. So maybe you don't want to name your baby Rosemary because she might get made fun of. And everybody's going to make jokes while she's carrying her child. And we don't want that kind of pressure on her. That's why it's number 10. Giselle. Now coming in at number 9 this week, i like to thank these women for being my friends. That's Sophia, Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose. But you don't hear that name too often now. And plus, if you did name your little girl one of those four names, people will make fun of them for either being a sassy old lady that likes to tell stories, Sophia, a sarcastic know-it-all like Dorothy, a dim-witted klutz from St. Olaf like Rose, or, okay, let's say Blanche had a reputation, and you definitely want your daughter to walk around with that type of reputation. Her initials were B.E.D. You know, Blanche Elizabeth, Deborah. Okay, but I'm a fan of the show. Love the show. And those nights should stay with them and retire with them and not be passed on for future generations. And that's why it's number nine. Giselle. Okay, speaking of the devil, um, coming in at number eight is Kaiser for Kaiser Sose. The only time I heard this name was from the movie Usual Suspects and Kevin Spacey's character that was this devilish, deceptive fiend throughout the movie. And I haven't heard it since. I think people got the memo not to name their child Kaiser. Because either they're going to be made fun of for being a delicious roll that you eat a sandwich with. Or for being a devilish fiend. And that's why this sneaks into my countdown at number 8. Giselle. Okay, now we come to number 7. And as you can see, tequila is behind my shoulder. You should never name your child after a famous alcoholic beverage. Or a well-known drink that adults enjoy. Because you're just going to have to say them the ridicule. But tequila started gaining some popularity in the 90s. Then in the early 2000s, there was a Tila Tequila that had a reality show. And people on the brink of starting to name their daughters tequila. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You don't want to think your child to be associated with something that has a worm in it. And let it be a delicious beverage that you can make a, a great sweet and sour or a margarita with. But don't let it be your child's night at number seven. Giselle. Now, coming in at number six is the night Hannibal. As a child, I loved the night Hannibal because of the A-Team and Hannibal Smith that led the, the unit of vigilante soldiers with Mr. T and all that crew. And then I started realizing history. Hannibal was a notorious night. Then a movie in 1991 that came out, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. Don't name your child Hann Hannibal because that means they might grow up eating people. 
that you don't want your child associated with things like that. So leave Hannibal in the past where people can enjoy it. Now we come to the midway point and I, I enjoyed all our great guests that we had throughout um, our best sellers list, but I have to say by far, the guy that at, at our midway point this week is the by far the most intelligent, gifted, I would even have to say the most handsome guy that we've been blessed to have for the midway point. So let's go see what he has to say about names. Oh my God, I am very flattered by the introduction. And we're at the midway point. And the reason why I decided to do this week's midway point because of the Knight Thomas. If you saw the cold opening, yeah, I realized growing up that the Knight Thomas must have had a lot of negative connotations stuck to it. There must have been some guy that was peeping and looking at women through the window and in the bushes. Oh my goodness. Then Uncle Tom, you have to read the book to understand that Uncle Tom was actually the hero, but in the black community, being an Uncle Tom ain't a good thing. Then there's the Doubting Thomas, but if we look at it in a positive way, it's, if the Apostle Thomas didn't ask Jesus a question that he asked him, then we wouldn't know the truth about Jesus. He gave him more information than he needed. But that's how we know to follow Jesus today. So I like to think that that Thomas was the first journalist who asked a very important question. But you hear about every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I guess Thomas must have been the most popular name along with Henry and Richard back then. So all these things that, you know, my name's attached to like Thomas the Train and all that. But why are kids still named Thomas today? Well, you got to think of this electricity that you see. Thank you, Thomas Edison. Thomas Paine, who wrote Common Sense. Our nation's third president, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas is an awesome name. And there are some crazy Thomases out there, but it balances itself out. So that's all I wanted to point out at this midway point as a person with the name Aaliyah. Tell Aaliyah, show Aaliyah, my Aaliyah is telling me to wrap it up. I'll wrap it up right here and we get to the rest of my countdown. And by the way, the guy that I'm about to shoot it back to, you're handsome and awesome as well. Just say uh, man, thank you for those kind of words. I am extremely flattered. But don't make fun of my goddaughter's name. Talia is a very beautiful name. But as we get back to the countdown, the number five is that Damien. That was Rosemary's baby. Don't name your child Damien. It's associated with the demon child, the eyes and all that kind of stuff. B5 Damien. And yes, we had classmates that had variations of the name Damien. And we did chant that name in, in, in song. When they came into class, so I do apologize to those classmates, but but it's your parents' fault. They shouldn't have named you Damien. So don't name your child Damien as we move on in the countdown. Giselle. Now we have my Mount Rushmore, the four names that you don't want to name your child exclusively. And that number four is Adolph. And my apologies to the rapper Young Dolph, but why your name is Adolph? I'll go by Young Dolph too. Adolph is associated with a lot of greatness prior to 1936. There's some guy in Germany made the night notorious for the rest of time. His name is Adolf Hitler. Now that I really think about it, I haven't met any people with the surname Hitler. Have you met any Hitlers? I, 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 my, my thoughts exactly. So don't don't know your kid Adolf because they're, they're going to be made fun of. And especially don't let them have a short mustache when they get older. So that's number four, Adolf. Just say Now coming in at number three. Part of the Holy Trinity is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would not ever name my child Christ, Messiah, Emmanuel, and definitely not Jesus. Or even if you pronounce it Jesus. It, for one main reason, it's a lot of pressure to live up to. He's the perfect being. But if we want to bring it down to layman's terms, how about the third commandment where he said, Thou shalt not use my name in vain. So you name your child Jesus. Jesus acts up. You're mad at Jesus. Are you about to curse Jesus? I want you to think about it as it comes to the number three. Giselle. Is it over my shoulder? Let me get my mask. Oh, okay, I'm just joking. But you see Corona right there, and that's number two. Now, Corona is a popular name, maybe in the Southwest United States, and it could have picked up some steam. You know, some people want to name their child after the beer because the beer might have helped them get that child here on, on the spring break. I joke and I kid. But Corona, we might want to just kind of retire it, let it just become a rare name that people have. And maybe by the year 2040, if you meet a person that's over the, under the age of 29 Corona, you, you know their parents have a deep sense of humor about our global pandemic and what's going on. So that's why it comes in at number two, Corona. Giselle. And at number one, the absolute worst name to have in the year 2020 
and maybe might never get this name bestowed upon another little girl, especially if she's white, Karen. Um, now this has become part of memes and our lexicon and the Urban Dictionary as a entitled white lady who wants to go to management, wants to call the police on people, and wants to just get into everybody's business. Yeah, don't want to be a Karen. So, take it from a Thomas Karen. It, it, it will pass in time. It will come a joke and you'll laugh at it. It hurts for right now. Take it from Dowden Thomas. Take it from Peeping Tom. Ah, take it from the, all the Toms and Dicks and Harrys that I have to pick up with and deal with every day. Karen, it'll be okay. You, This too shall pass. But right now, your name sucks. And it's horrible and it's the joke of the day. And for you parents out there, if you got a sense of humor, go ahead and now your daughter Karen. But maybe we want to stick away from this name for a little while until everything dies down and then they pick a new name. Becky, we're still looking at you to bring back into the lexicon. But for right now, don't name your child, Karen. And that's this week's bestsellers list. We'll catch you next time.